Hi friends, good evening and welcome to my channel Mukambika Nursing. Here we are discussing questions for ESIC, RRB, AIMS NOSET exam, DSSB, DME exam also, Kerala PSC Insurance Medical Service exam, JPHN exam and CHO exam preparation. And let's see today's questions. Till now we completed previous year question section 9 parts. So today we can see the next set of questions. First question, if a child not involved in any play activity, which type of play behavior does this indicate? Options, option A, solitary play, option B, unoccupied behavior, option C, onlooker behavior, option D, parallel play. Here the question is, child is not involved in the play activity just he is observing others children's play but he is or child is not involving the play activity that is known as onlooker behavior option c is the correct answer we can see the types of play in different age group infants they like solitary play for toddlers parallel play for preschoolers cooperative play and school ages they likes competitive play. The next question, volume of enema solutions for infants. Options, option A, 100 to 200 ml. Option B, 200 to 300 ml. Option C, 300 to 400 ml. Option D, 400 to 500 ml. Correct answer is, it is option A, 100 to 200 ml. The amount of enema solutions for infants. For infants, the amount of enema solution is 250 or less than 250. Here, 100 to 200 is there. So, that is the correct answer. For adult, 500 to 1000 ml. For children, 250 to 500 ml. The next question, most reliable index of cerebral status is options. Option A, people response. Option B, deep tendon reflex. Option C, muscle strength. Option D, level of consciousness which is the most accurate index of cerebral status is level of consciousness option d is the correct answer the next question glimipride is prescribed for a client with diabetes mellitus a nurse instruct the client to avoid which of the following while taking this medication options option a alcohol option b organ meat option c whole grain cereals option d carbohydrate beverages here the question is, a client with diabetes mellitus is taking glimipride. Glimipride is an oral hypoglycemic agent. A nurse instructs the client to avoid which among the following food items. Okay. If the patient is consuming alcohol along with glimipride, disulfiram like reaction may occur to the patient. So, the patient should avoid alcohol while taking glimipride. Patient may experience the symptoms like flushing, palpitation, nausea, quivering. So, the patient should avoid alcohol. Option A is the correct answer. The next question. A nurse is caring for a client with pheochromocytoma is scheduled for adrenalectomy. In the preoperative period, the priority nursing action would be to monitor. Options. Option A. Vital signs. Option B. Intake and output. Option C. Blood urea nitrogen result. Option D. Urine for glucose and ketone. Pheochromocytoma means it's an catecholamine producing tumor usually found in the adrenal medulla. For our question, a nurse is caring for a client with pheochromocytoma and the patient is scheduled for adrenalectomy. Adrenalectomy means removal of the adrenal gland. It is the surgical management. Because here during preoperative period, what is the priority nursing action? That is our question. Hypertension is the main features of pheochromocytoma and the severe hypertension can cause stroke or sudden blindness. So, we have to check the blood pressure of the patient, especially vital signs. Vital signs means temperature, pulse, respiration and BP. So, we have to check the blood pressure. And the next question, symptoms of 
increased icp in infants options option a vomiting option b heightened alertness option c depressed fontanel option c diarrhea and the correct answer is vomiting the main one of the symptoms of increased icp in infants is vomiting and the next question contraindication of lumbar puncture include options option a increased icp option b suspected meningitis option c gallenberry syndrome option d all of this contraindications for lumbar puncture is increased icp intracranial pressure how increased icp will affect the patient means due to the increased pressure increased intracranial pressure affect the vital centers in the medulla oblongata okay it will cause increased pressure in the medulla oblongata thereby causing respiratory failure and sudden death okay mostly patient will die due to respiratory failure and the next question clear fluid draining from the nose and ear is indicative of options option a rhinorrhea option b basilar skull fracture option c otitis media option d cerebral edema clear fluid is draining from nose and ear is the sign of basilar skull fracture option b is the correct answer the next question antidepressant used in children for depression is options option a amitriptylin option b fluoxetine option c methylphenidate option c imipramine which is the antidepressant used in children it is methylphenidate option c is the correct answer and the next question what is the chemical name of aspirin option option a acetic salicylic acid option b acetyl salicylic acid option c acetone salicylic acid option d amide salicylic acid chemical name of aspirin is acetyl salicylic acid option b is the correct answer here we discuss some of the important previous year questions also important expected questions for exam preparation if it is useful for your studies please share your friend circle and subscribe my channel also thank you for watching